feel like that. Ha! Huh. Hoity toity. Where do you get your grand ideas from? Quite the little prude, isn't he? He's like a big girl. Look, he's blushing. No any dirty stories. He's gone all shy. Quite the shrinking violet, isn't he? Look out, here comes the boss. Please, Mr. Masson, sir. I don't think I want to work here after all. What's that? Why, you haven't given it a proper try yet. Why not stay a bit longer and see if you get to like it better? No, no, I must leave at once. Yes? Please, Mum, I've come to see Mr. Savani. I'm afraid he's busy at present. He's holding a dinner party for a lot of very important people. But I've come to ask Mr. Savani to employ me as a singer. I've come all the way from Auden, sir. I must work in the theatre. Please, please let me see him. Wait here. Bravo, bravo. What do you think of that, Pagerson? I predict that you will get somewhere. But remember, Hans, don't get too vain when the audience show their approval. What do you think, Weiser? He certainly shows promise. I think he should be helped. Mm, now, come back and see me tomorrow. My housekeeper will show you out. Good morning, sir. Ah, young Hans. After you left yesterday, we had a little talk about you, and I organized a small collection. I shall hold the money, and you can take ten Ries Delacher every month. What do you say to that, eh? Oh, thank you, sir. I know what it's like to fight one's way up from a poor position. That's why I want to help you. What's more, Mr. Saboni has agreed to give you singing lessons. But to be able to do that, you must first learn some German. I expect we can find someone who will do this free of charge. Oh, thank you, sir. I shall write my first letter home and tell my mother. I'm sure she'll be so proud she'll show everybody. As soon as I had learned a little German, Siborny opened his house to me, gave me free meals, and let me sing some scales. I spent most of the day chatting to the maidservants and running errands for them. Occasionally I was allowed to attend singing lessons with members of the Royal Opera, it was terrifying when Siborny flew into a rage, but, but then he, he, he would give me a few pennies and, uh, and tell me not to be afraid. He was a good singing master, but not so esteemed by the public as he deserved to be, for they looked on him as a foreigner. Then one day, Mr. Savoy...